Hey everybody, I'm Andre Fernandez. We're back at Miami Dolphins High School Football Media Day. We're here with Central Offensive Lineman Devon Donaldson. Not many guys that I have to just kind of do one of these as I'm interviewing them. Big guy, man. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to have to line up against him, that's for sure. And a lot of people are going to have to this season. So, Devon, talk about the challenge this year uh, for Central to keep this tradition going, this tradition of, that involves state championships. And this year, might involve a national title. I know it's big on your guys' mind. What's, gonna, what's it going to take to get there? Um, we're going to take a lot of hard work. You know, we have a lot of young guys that come in, different people come in different schools. So we have to get them ready to experience how Central played because we're a fast-paced team. And that, you know, and that coaching staff is just working hard, getting us ready. We um in the weight room every day, practice is hard, practice like it's a game day. Um, we're trying to get te technically sound and you know, fundamentally ready and all type of stuff like that. The offensive line, um, it's not, you don't often see it at this level, like uh, a group that just comes up together at the high school level on a high school team and matures the way you guys have. Everything, you know, last year you saw it little by little as the season went on, you guys got better. What's it been like to be a part of that, to be a part of a group that just kind of just came up together like that and got better, became one of the best? Well, it's really amazing because, you know, like last year, nobody really think the O-line could do anything. But next thing you know, we won the national, I mean, state championship and we're going to do it again this year. You know, we got Marshawn Miller coming back. He's going to be on the right side of the field um, playing left. We also got um, a center that came from Hialeah. Um, we have offensive guard that can, um, not going to do his thing this year. And that if we just tech, talk everything out, um, go through our process and play central ball, we're going to be amazing this year. I know the way the season finished, it almost felt like you felt like you were the best team in the nation. I know people looked at the loss early in the season, the Booker T. That's the, really the only thing that kept you from it on the, on the books. But does, does that fire you guys up to kind of go out there this year? no losses at all and just really prove to everybody that not only that you could be the best team in the nation this year, that you already were going in. Well, that's the um, thing that's on my mind. This year we're going to take every game one at a time and we're going to win everything. We got the national champion. It's the only thing that we really want. We're tired of winning the state. We want to win that national for once and this team is the team to do it. I got to ask you about the defensive side of the ball though. Going up against those guys, tremendous unit on that side of the ball. You know the players. Um, what, how much better does that make you that you got to go up against th that caliber of defense day in and day out, and then when you face a team in the game, it's got to feel like it's all it's a lot easier. Yeah, like um, you know, at the beginning, you know, since it was a young offensive line, we had trouble, but now that we started to get the flow of things, you know, we starting to drop the ball more, starting to run more plays perfectly, um, and that uh, now with the defense, like okay, we got to rethink, you know, what we're gonna do, so. Right now, we're just getting better and better each day, and that's all we can do. Is there one player on the D-line that you just love going up against in practice? Like, just how, you just got to maybe like have a little bit of your individual battles. You like, yeah. you know, button helmets with? Eric, yeah, you Eric. know. Yeah, you know, going against since you know, I'm on the left side this year. I was on the right. You know, being on the left side, he came out challenged, but since he did, I've been getting better and better because he's been working me real hard. What's he brought to that side of the ball, not just when he's gone up against you, but just from what you see when he's interacting with the other guys on the defense, what's Eric brought to the team? You know, he brought another level of energy, you know, and, you know, you know, he like if, um, like if they need that extra level of, you know, all right, let's get this done, like he's that man right there. He, you know, he's a second on defensive line, so, you know, you had Kier on the other side, and you have E, so basically it's like a sack every game you know, for the other team. So basically offense get the ball easier. You're committed to Miami? Yes. Let's talk about the Canes, man. What is it that you enjoyed the most about them and why did you pick the University of Miami? Oh, uh, you know, we have two players that's out there. I love the coaching staff and I love how their campus is small that you can walk around everywhere. You own um, the classroom size, you know, it's a one to 12 ratio. So I could really interact with the teachers and I could really concentrate on teaching, I mean, my classwork and my football at the same time. And they said that they'll help me with um, things, the process of, you know, coming in early, getting the classroom work done, then going in on practicing and working hard on the field. Were you a fan of any offensive linemen growing up? Maybe somebody that's in the NFL now or just anybody that you kind of said, I kind of want to be kind of like the way that guy is. Well, no, not really. You know, 
So, um, well, the only person I really in the NFL was Ray Lewis. You know, Ravens my favorite team. So, you know, that's pretty much it. All right, well, Devon, we thank you very much, man. Congratulations on everything you've accomplished so far. You can catch the Rockets. They're going for a fourth straight state championship, but I know the big goal, national title. So we'll see if they can get it done.